Welcome to another episode of Gibbs Delta, and this is what we're catching today. Welcome back to another episode of Gibbs Delta TV. Today we're here at Oak Bay Marina in beautiful Victoria, BC. Uh, we'll be fishing with pro staff Nick Huey, targeting Winter Chinook. So let's get the show started. We'll see if we get some fish around and uh, let's rock and spring roll. Most of the fish that we're seeing at this time of the year are uh, feeder springs, which are, they haven't reached their maturity yet. They're just gonna start their migration, but they, they stay in their home waters for the first year and, and feed and, and, and whatnot. And then they start their migration out to the open Pacific. We will also see early runs of Fraser, Fraser Chinooks coming back and also uh, Columbia River fish that are going to be heading back down to the Oregon coast and, and whatnot. Oh, just had a bite there. Yeah, there you go. <sighs> Pop it off. Oh no, Turn I off. didn't do it. <sighs> so now I do it? You're off, yeah, you're off. You got him. That was quick. <laughs> that was maybe down for like a few minutes. Feisty a little one. bit better now that he's hit the surface. Oh, oh, oh he just came off. off. Yeah. <laughs> he gotcha. Look at that. It's all right. We'll get more. Mowed it. Yeah. That fish felt pretty big at first, but when it came, it came up to the top so quickly. Yeah. It don't did. they usually like the big ones like to run? Like it just it came up. No. Sometimes no they, battle. They, uh, Sometimes a lot of the time when you hook these fish, they run for the surface first. Yeah. And but then why? You'll, you'll catch up line. I don't know. Sometimes it's it's weird. And then they'll start to fight sometimes when they get close to the surface. Oh. Like that. Some I, people a lot I of bet the time. You, if I had to guess, I bet it was like just retainable. Yeah, it looked like it. It, it pulled a little bit Great. of line there, so. Uh. We'll get more. There you go, now you're off. There you can stick them there. So there, you go. Like yeah, there you go, yeah, perfect. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. <laughs> it was like 30 seconds from when I had to tell you how I was doing. Oh, my heart's pounding. Oh my gosh, the flash is not up and it's like right below the surface. It has to be bigger. <laughs> it has to be. Never mind. <laughs> it's a good start to the day. We'll just shake that one off with the gas. Yeah. Just under. And off he goes. So two minutes later from when I told you about the first fish, and that is our second fish of the day. And it, our day's just started, so there must be a lot around. We just, I guess, need to pick through. There's a lot of fish that here that are undersized, too small to keep. So we just got to keep picking through and hopefully find that big one, big aggressive fish. Yeah, a large percentage of them are undersized, but uh, like Kitty said, you just kind of, you pick through and there are some, there are some bigger fish uh, in the mix. It seems like at this time, there's been a few, a little bit higher percentage of uh, legal fish holding in this area. So fingers crossed, we're going to be able to get a few of those today. Uh, I'm running an anchovy today and uh, skinny G. There, there is some small bait fish in the area as well, but uh, the bay is also plugged with uh, some mature herring. Some of the fish right now are 
got like eight inch herring in their bellies because uh, those are the mature fish or mature herring that are just waiting to head up into the gorge to spawn. We're using the Gibbs uh, Pro Series Highliner flashers. I like to use a lot of the, the UV and glow down there because the light's not, uh, not very much light down there at that deep. So it's always nice to have something that's glowing or UV reflective down there so it attracts these fish. They're pretty aggressive at this time of the year because they're really heavily on the feed. So generally, uh, if they can see it, it's, it'll definitely help you. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, jeez. Do you have one? Yeah, it's a small one. Double header. Third fish of the day, number three. Oh, there you go, right there. Yeah. Reel down, pop it off. Reel down, reel down, reel down. There you go. goes. Oh, fish, fish. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna run out of bait at this rate. Nice one, but he's under again, just, just under. Short. This one's chunky, he's healthy. Is he a little bit yeah. fatter than yeah. some of the others? rig. Oopsies. So you always start with the treble hook first. Yeah. And start on that side obviously which the line I used to usually stick it in straight through. Just the treble? Yeah. And then you kind of pull on that to see where you need to put the, the front hook just to give it a little bit of a twirl when it's tightened or a little bit of a up. bend. You do after you put this in, and then you kind of look at your bend, and then you pull it straight like that, and it just puts a little bit of a, a bend. twist in it so it looks more injured. Uh, it just helps the roll. And check the roll again. See how it tightened it up, and it's a little bit quicker now. Uh, we're gonna go down probably 160 on that one. Stick them, stick them, stick them. There you go. This is better. Yeah. It looks like a good bite. The rod's been looking at the rod. Wants to go. Oh, double. It's running at me. Or it's lost. <laughs> Who's gonna net our fish? If Maya is small, I will not believe it. Like, there's no way. Got here. That looks brown. I was waiting for. You want to go across? I love this kind of dancing. Oh, this is a legal one. Yours probably is too. They're both, they're both keepers, I think. It's not as big as I thought it would be. It seems long, and I can't go any further. Pretty sure that's a legal one. I'm not sure, mine might just make it. Oh yeah. Okay. This one's for sure. Yours hooked well? Um, I hope so. 
Oh yeah, that's legal. It's a nice one. Just about. Oh, sorry. It's all right, come back to the edge here. There you go, we're using short leaders. Yes. That's a nice fish. Good Are job, sure? kitty. Oh yeah. That's a legal one. Two of them, wow, look at that, we got twins. Okay, so look here, we got a beautiful day, a beautiful backdrop of Victoria behind us, and two beautiful legal Chinook salmon. Uh, it was, took us a little bit of time to weed through some of the smaller fish. Had about maybe 10 to 15 yeah. small uh, fish that, that kind of stole our bait or came to the boat. And I guess we went through a school of some fish that were a little bit bigger and we ended up doubling up. Got a double header of nice winter, winter fish. Yeah, beautiful. For more information about our saltwater salmon trolling products, please check out our website at gibbsdelta.com.